Yeah, one thing I'm thinking of is the way they removed single-use free plastic bags from the supermarkets here in Australia. I don't know if this has happened in other countries, but it's... Man, what a W for the supermarkets. Where they can put the responsibility of reducing plastic usage onto the consumer rather than on the producer. You guys have to bring your bag to the store. Or you gotta pay 50 cents for this other bag. We made it a reusable bag, basically meaning that it's got more plastic in it than before, and we charge you for it. What a genius move. <clears throat> and then it says, please reuse. If you notice now, all fucking plastic products say, please reuse on it, as if that makes a fucking difference. They got it twisted. Because it goes reduce, reuse, recycle. But that's the order of priority. You gotta reduce first. But reduce reduction of consumption is completely antithetical to the entire foundation of the economic system here. So it doesn't work. It doesn't work. How are you gonna reduce when you step outside and everything around you is telling you to increase your consumption? How is the economic framework going to participate in this mission of reduce? So, they just put up nice signs, reduce, reuse, recycle. They emphasize recycling because that's post-consumer. It's the consumer's responsibility to recycle. Yeah, anything so the producers don't have to actually take responsibility for it. When they're the ones making the plastic. And, I don't know if any of you guys have worked behind the scenes at a supermarket or grocery store, but there are heaps of plastic involved in every stage of the thing before it gets to the consumer. The plastic bag at the checkout point was just one step in a whole chain that got that product to the consumer. The products arrived there in boxes wrapped in plastic, stacked on pallets wrapped in plastic. There's hella plastic involved in the whole process. They just altered one thing at the most visible level to the consumer in a way that puts the responsibility on the consumer and they're profiting off it now because they charge you for the bag. Crazy. Crazy. But it shows how just the, the way things are now, the overall makeup of it is incompatible with the goals of these that they tell us to have and that we're meant to have. See, so yeah, man, it's a scam. And now, in Australia, there was a post-consumer pla soft plastics recycling system called Red Cycle, where you could bring your soft plastics back to the grocery store, put them in this bin, and then they would take it and recycle it for you. And then it turned out that was kind of a scam, basically, because they found that they had warehouses of soft plastics just stacked up there. It was a big fire hazard, and they had no plans to process it. They don't know what to do with this shit. So they just sort the rubbish into different piles. It might just all go to landfill. And they do nothing, basically, to actually change anything. Mm-mm.